Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Chad from Grayscale Gorilla, and in this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of our new neon materials over in Grayscale Gorilla Plus. We just put out this cool new little pack of neon materials that are super easy to use and a lot of fun. So uh, here we have a pretty cool detailed, I mean, crazy detailed neon model. And if you're a Grayscale Gorilla Plus member, we're gonna make this entire alphabet of the neon letters you see here available for Plus members. So be sure to check back with us uh, and grab that and have some fun with it. Okay, so let's jump in here. We've got the IPR rolling. I do have a little bit of some bloom just to make the lights kind of like really pop out a little bit. So let's start throwing some materials on these things. Well, of course, we got to grab a red neon and throw it onto the Redshift logo. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. And I'm just going to maybe put a blue color on the Grayscale Gorilla logo. And I'm just going to start picking some other ones at random here and throwing them onto our tubes. Maybe an orange one there, maybe a purple one there, maybe a light pink on this one, and maybe a green on that one. And then for the heart shape, I'm just going to grab all the hearts and double click the red, which will add it to my material lister here. And, well, we already had a red, but I'll just go ahead and throw that one in there anyway, just to show you that you can do that as well. All right, um, there you have it. It's pretty easy. And again, uh, these are very detailed too. If you kind of zoom into these, you can see uh, there's quite a bit of detail going on on these. And they're a lot of fun to play with and really kind of uh, addictive, really. So let's go ahead and take a look at the shaders so you can get an idea of what we have going on. So the way that you're going to adjust the intensity of these of this neon is going to be, let me just pick one that we want to do here. Let's do this green one at the top because the green always looks really cool in neon. If we grab the neon green and we look at its shader, you can see here we've got a Fresnel, which is going to be driving, it's going to be driving the, uh, the fall off so that the angle of incidence is darker than the, the facing angle. That is driving into a ramp, which just gives me a little bit of control over that. We're multiplying this on a max on noise because it's really important that your neon isn't completely uniform because neon generally has some imperfections in it and the gas will kind of change the way the intensity of that light throughout the entire tube. So this kind of emulates that. That whole thing then gets piped into a ramp, which is what's giving it its color. And then a, a little bit of a color correct so that I have a little control, or I should say you guys have a little control over maybe the gamma or the contrast of that. And then, of course, it all gets piped into the diffuse of this material. And then the emission color is also being driven down here as well. So basically, the intensity of the entire light is going to be controlled in the main material under overall emission weight. So we can bring that emission weight way down and have a really dark light. But what's nice is that it's still going to be reflective. So you can kind of see it's kind of like glass, seeing a reflection of that red light in there. And then, of course, you can bring the intensity way, 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 way up. If you want to go for like an overexposed neon, you might make this at like a five, something like that. Maybe that's like, you know, off in the background somewhere. Typically, though, neon doesn't really get that bright. So the default, I think, is like two. But of course, go in there and tweak it. Do it. Do it make it look how you want it to look. So that is, is just kind of some of the uses for this. Obviously, you can come in here and tweak this stuff all you want. And uh, they're a lot of fun. And let's just like, in fact, I'm going to create a little bit more of a cool look here. Let's take our Redshift Red and make that one a little bit brighter. Maybe that one's going to be like five. And maybe we take our all of our hearts and make those a little bit brighter as well. So grabbing those, maybe make that like four cool and then i think i like the way i like it and then i might throw like i have a nice long lens on here kind of look up at it so it kind of looks like it's on a sign far away maybe kind of fun fun thing to do anyway i mean this is a really quick video showing you all the awesome little neon materials we just put in grayscale gorilla plus hope you enjoy them hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you next time